guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i transform from a normal me to me in context and a wig so if you guys want to see how i get into this look just keep on watching all right guys so i already went ahead and put in the contacts and i did my eyebrows if you guys just want to know what style my contacts are and they're in the style called real aqua and the company i got them by is called ttd underscore i you can check them out on instagram i'll put like the little information right here but i'm gonna just go ahead and clean out my eyebrows so we can have a base to put the eyeshadow on and then i'll be right back all right guys so i'm gonna be taking my morphe 3502 palette for this look right here um i'm gonna be taking this shade right here which is this nice orange shade and i'm gonna be using this as my transition color i'm gonna be applying it um i didn't set my eyelids with any powder or anything so i'm gonna just be applying that straight on I'm going to be applying this on the crease area all the way through, all the way down. The next shade I'm going to be taking is this shade right here. This is more of an orange shade, but sort of like a warm brown shade. And I'm going to be applying this on top of that color we just added. Now the final shade we're going to be applying is the bottom, is this color right here in the bottom corner. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me point that better. It's this one right here. It's this nice brownish. It's like more darker than the other one. It's kind of like the same tone, like warm tone, but just darker. And I'm going to be applying this shade just right there. And I'm going to be applying it more right here on the outer corners and on the inner corner. Now to blend it out a bit more, I'm going to be taking my Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to be using this just to buff everything out. Now I'm going to be taking some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand and I'm going to be using this to cut my crease just like this. You see how it's not all the way down but almost down? I'm going to leave it a little bit opened right there just so, I could, just so I could add some more brown eyeshadow just to make it all smooth and blend it in. So I'm going to be cutting my crease just like this side. Okay, now that you have that all like the concealer on there, now what you want to do is with the little brush that you're using, just kind of bring it like start patting it a little bit out just so it's not as harsh. And then we're going to go in right now with our finger just to make it extra blended. Now to apply a little shimmer shade, I'm going to be using the same palette. I'm going to be taking into this really nice goldish, yellowish, glittery shade. And I'm going to be applying this on a little flat brush. And then I'm also going to be spraying the brush. That way when we apply the, the shimmer, it's like as intense as it gets. So I'm taking some of the Mario Badescu spray. Spraying my brush. And now I'm just going to apply it mostly to the, um, the upper half of it. And then we're going to apply a different shade to the bottom half. And then we're going to go ahead and blend all that out just so it's not as harsh and i'm gonna be applying this shade that's down here it's this one right here i'm gonna be applying some on the brush and i'm gonna be applying it to the lower half of it and i'm gonna slowly start blending it all in goldish up here just so I think they're pretty similar now. Now I'm just going to go back in with that same corner brown shade. Now I'm taking this on the Morphe M514 brush. And I'm going to be applying this on the outer corner how we said. And I'm going to like slowly like start like bringing it in just to blend out that shimmer and the matte shade. 
and then flip the brush because we only I only use this side. So when you flip it, there's still product on that side. So I'm gonna just add whatever stuff right there to the inner corner. By the way, guys, I did do my makeup, like, well, I mean, like, my face makeup foundation and all that off camera just because I don't want to make this video too, too long. But if you guys do want to see, like, an updated um, foundation routine, let me know and I will do that for you guys. Alright, guys, so now I have my face makeup on and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, do the bottom lash line and I'm just going to add one color just to kind of connect this outer, outer corner um, shadow. So I'm just gonna add that same, the second color we used. So I'm gonna add, let me see. It's this one here. I'm gonna add this one. And I'm just gonna use this for the bottom lash and I'm just gonna like smoke it out. Hold on, let me get my mirror. Just to complete the eyeshadow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some highlight. This highlight that I have on right now is by this little glow kit by Anastasia. It's the Aurora Glow Kit. And I'm gonna be taking the shade Eclipse, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna be applying this to my inner corners just to finish off the look. Now I'm just gonna apply some mascara. This is my favorite mascara, you guys already know. And I'm gonna apply this, and then we're gonna be back for the wig. All right guys, so that is the look for my eyes. I hope you guys like it. I think it looks nice. It's like really like, kind of like simple in a way, but like dramatic. I think it's really pretty. It's like really bronzy and orangish. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig now, but I'm gonna do my lips later because if I put it on right now, the wig is gonna get caught on it, so I'm gonna just wait until I put it on. Alright guys, so the wig I have is the wig by Trending Wigs. It's like this. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, there we go. It looks like this is the packaging. It's really cute. Thanks to them so much for sending, them, for sending me this wig. I love it. This is in the style Kara. Um, I do have a code. My code is Guera30. If you want, you can go use that code for 30% off on your purchase. They have really amazing wigs. This is like, it feels really nice. It's like soft, high quality. So I'm going to be putting this wig on. Alright guys, so I went ahead and styled the wig. As you guys can see, I put it in half a bun and half down. And this is what it looks like. Alright guys, so that is the end for this transformation video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it, trying a new different look or whatever. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, all my social media is linked down below if you guys do want to check that out and follow me. And I'll see you guys in my next video.